guys so in this video I'm going to work on a few different ombre techniques with gel polish um, personally I prefer to do an ombre with acrylic but I know lots of you are either just gel polish techs or just prefer to work with gel polish so I'm going to show you different techniques using gel polish um, with my own range gems and um, different ways vertical horizontal diagonal different ways of doing it um, and it should be fun okay let's go so the first one we're going to start off with is a horizontal ombre which is the easiest one to do with gel polish so i'm going to be using uh, gems bluebell and gems lily which is a gorgeous blue and green So for this technique you don't need an ombre brush or anything like that, you can just do it with the brushes from the gel polish. You're going to do it in two layers, so this first layer wants to be nice and thin. Obviously if you were working on a natural nail you would have applied base gel first. But as I'm working on a display tip we don't need to waste product. So nice and thin, no need to apply these gels thick, you can work nice and thin, they're very pigmented, so nice and thin. So I'm basically putting one at one side and one at the other, and then this first layer all I'm going to do is just pull through Lily into Bluebell. So already you're getting an ombre, it's a very light motion, like really sort of feathering touch and already you're getting that lovely ombre so that can go into the lamp for its full cure of 60 seconds while that one's in the lamp we'll start another one so on this one we're going to be doing uh, instead of a vertical ombre we're going to be doing a horizontal ombre so let's go with uh, daisy which is that gorgeous yellow and we'll go with lily as well so on this one i'm going to paint again thin layer first layer is always nice and thin halfway down the nail with daisy and then the bottom half of the nail with lily right up to where you finished with that yellow and then we're going to use our ombre brush now i use the perfect nails ombre brush and ombre with gel polish is not a quick thing it takes time so what you're going to do is just start to mix those colors together by using the tips of the ombre brush going up and down up and down up and down again it's a very gentle movement I'm not pressing on very hard, it's a very gentle movement and I'm just going up and down. So now already we've started with a new colour. So we've got the green here, the yellow there and we've got almost a lime green in the middle. So keep working. Remember this is only your first layer so it doesn't need to be perfect at this point. I'm now working on the line between the green and the lime and the lime and the yellow. First layer nice and thin so don't worry it's not going to look perfect after that first layer. Such a light touch. Okay so I'm happy with that to go into the lamp and we'll go back to our first nail. So our first nail was the vertical ombre which you can see already is quite quite good an ombre you don't have to work on this one too much so second layer we're going to do exactly the same as what we did on that first layer so no need to apply thickly they are pigmented enough to apply two nice thin coats and the thinner you go when you're trying to do an ombre the better the finish so if you put too much product on you, try and ombre it, you're going to struggle. So thin layers is better. So 
I'm taking quite a bit off my brush and just working nice and thin. Painting both sides and then staying with that brush and blending those two together by just brushing down the nail nice and light so that it blends those two colours together. Obviously it works better if you do work with the same family of colours and obviously green and blue are the same family of colours. Let's say for example you wanted to try and do blue and orange. They're very contrasting, they're not the same family of colour. So that would be a difficult ombre to do. As is black and white. So if you're picking similar colours you'll get a better ombre. So my green's just going over to my blue a little bit too much, so I'm going back in with Bluebell again, taking lots off my brush and just blending back a little bit until I'm happy. Like I say, ombres are not a quick thing. They take time to get right, especially with gel polish. Okay. I'm happy with that. That can go into the lamp to cure. Back to the second nail. So we're going to do exactly the same. Nice thin layers. The thinner you work, the better. Put that yellow on, that daisy, halfway down the nail and then come in the bottom of the nail with Lily right up to where you've finished your yellow and then back with your ombre brush we're going to start to mix these two colours together to create that lime again nice light movement just using the tips of that brush not the belly of the brush. Get that line created by mixing those two colours together. Then we're going to start to work on the lime and the green. Then I'm going to wipe my brush off and work on the lime and the yellow. So ideally you should really have sort of three colours on there. A yellow, a lime and a green. So you're not blending two colours together, you're almost blending three colours together. Okay, move it around in the light, see if you're happy with that blend. If you're not, keep working. Nice light touches until you're happy with that finished result. Okay, I'm happy with that, so that's going to go into the lamp to cure. Our first one is finished, so we're just going to top coat this one. So I'm using Gems Tina Top. Nice layer of top coat. Don't be too stingy with your top coat. When you do a nice layer, you get a nice light line down the nail. Into the lamp to cure. Now what if you did an ombre that you weren't 100% happy with? There are ways of disguising it a little bit. Now I'm quite happy with this one, but let's say I wasn't. Let's say there was something about it that I'm just not 100% happy with. So I'm going to go in with a layer of Betty Base. And we're going to flash cure that for just 10 seconds. Okay. So into your lamp just for 10 seconds. I'll just wait for my timer to go down and then I can pop it in 
and know that it's only getting 10. And then you can come in with something like fairy dust, pigment, mermaid glitter, anything that's uh, slightly transparent but is going to give you a bit of a shimmery finish. You can use your little tray underneath to catch the excess. And we're going to sprinkle that into that tacky layer of base gel. Don't want too much because I'm quite happy with that ombre, so I don't want to put too much glitter on there. So I'm just sprinkling sort of a line down the centre and then just using my finger very lightly to tap that glitter around. So it's into that tacky layer and then that can go back into the lamp for the full cure of 60 seconds. So let's take that first one out and have a good look. Simple vertical ombre, very easy to do but if you wanted you could put pigments or glitter into there, it's completely up to you. So that's the first one, the nice and easy one. Get that tip ready for the next one. Okay, so we can dust off that excess glitter. And you can see that you've got a beautiful ombre underneath, but with a nice little shimmer going off. So any little sins that you might have on that ombre are hidden really easy with the glitter and then that just needs top coating. Again, good layer of top coat so that you get a nice smooth light line. I think some people apply top coat far too sparingly and then it ruins the light line in the photos of the nails. And even if you wanted to just turn it upside down just for 5-10 seconds to make sure that it's nice and smooth before it goes into the lamp. So just turn your client's hand upside down and then you know you're going to get a beautiful light line into the light. Okay, let's start on our last nail. So this time, what if we wanted to ombre more than one, two colours together? What if we wanted a rainbow? Let's do a rainbow. So... In our spring collection, we've got the blue, the green and the yellow, so lily, bluebell and daisy. But we've also got blossom and april, so blossom's pink, april's a lovely peach. And in our previous collection, for the Valentine's collection, we've got erin, which is a gorgeous lilac, so I'm going to throw in there some lilac as well. So work out what your rainbow is going to be. So I'm going to start with pink, which is blossom, erin, which is the lilac, then I'm going to go to my blue, which is bluebell, and then to my green, uh, that is lily, onto my yellow, which is daisy, and finish off with april, which is coral. So that's my rainbow that I sort of can work out from going from a family of colours. So a pink to a purple is a family of colours, a purple to a blue, a blue to a green, and so on and so on. So we're going to start off with the pink, right at the top of the nail and just put a little bit up there. Then onto Erin, which is the purple, the lilac, and do a line across the nail there. Again, don't apply too much product. You just want thin work. Bluebell. I love rainbow ombres. Again, they're not something fast, they do take time because you've got to sit and blend all these colours together. So it takes time. So don't think doing an ombre is a quick fix. It's definitely not. Finishing off with April, but actually I've got a little bit of space at the end of that tip, so I'm going to go back to my pink. In fact, 
we can even squeeze a bit more erin on there which is great obviously most clients don't have tips this long but for display it's lovely okay so we now need to sit and work these colors together remember it takes time there's no speed in this it is patience because it's such a gentle touch and it takes time to blend your colours together. So you can end up with a pinky lilac in the middle of there. Remember this is only your first coat so it doesn't need to look perfect. Just sit and blend those colours together, nice light touch. Onto the blue and purple, so Erin and Bluebell. Just backwards and forwards, up and down, up and down. Just the tips of the brush, working those two colours together. Up and down, up and down. They ombre lovely together, Erin and Bluebell. Really nice. Onto Bluebell and Lily. already looking gorgeous. Then on to Lily and Daisy. So again creating that gorgeous lime green that mixing those two colours together produces. On to Daisy and April. April is a gorgeous colour. Really soft coral, perfect for spring. And leading you into summer. As coral is always a massive colour in summer. Then into coral and blossom. And then finishing off blossom into erin again. Tiny movements now because there's not a lot of space there. So that's our first layer. It's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. It's only your first coat. So let's get that into the lamp. I'm already loving it. We can take that other nail out. So that was the other nail with, um, I used Rosetta Fairy Dust on that one. She's like a rainbow fairy dust. So she shines all different colours. She's really pretty. But remember, if you're not... 100% happy with your ombre, you can put fairy dust on, you can put mermaid glitter on, you can put a pearl in there, an aurora pigment on there, lots of different ways to sort of hide those little flaws that you might have got, but also it looks gorgeous. Okay, back to our rainbow nail. So you're going to do exactly the same again. A line of each colour. Because I know I'm doing two lots of blossom, I can put the second one down there already. Don't need a lot of product. Erin in. So this is a gorgeous sort of pastel rainbow and you can do this with brighter colours in summer into lily if you wanted to make them even brighter at this point you could have put a layer of white gel polish underneath, that would have made the whole entire selection of colours brighter. But for spring, they're lovely just as they are. So again, we're going to start to ombre these colours together. So that nice light tapping motion, working those two colours together. My brush angle is not 90 degrees. It is a little bit more like sort of 45 degree angle, but still just using the tips 
of your ombre brush, not the belly of it. Next colours. So I would only really recommend that you do this sort of on two nails on a set because it does take time. So the other nails can just be painted in a colour or maybe a bit of glitter on there. Maybe a marble would look lovely. But don't ombre all ten or she'll be there forever. When you're working, you'll see those little sort of dots of gel polish from your ombre brush, but don't panic because you've still got uh, your base coat or your top coat to put on top, so it'll all smooth over when you do that. So just working those colours together a bit more, you're going to start to move it around in the light, check what you're happy with, is there anywhere else that you need to work it. Right, so I just want to work on that green and that yellow just a little bit more, they're such prominent colours those two. And that can go into the lamp. Again, if you're not 100% happy with it, don't hesitate to put some fairy dust or something like that on it. Um, or you could even make the whole thing matte. You don't have to have shiny nails, they could be matte, it could look really nice with a matte finish. Completely up to you, your choice. I think I'm going to do another layer of fairy dust just because I love fairy dust. So we're going to put a layer of our Betty base on and cure for 10 seconds. The reason you're curing for 10 seconds is you want that tacky finish. You want your glitter to go into uh, a tacky finish. So if I wasn't to put any fairy dust on or pigment or anything like that, that's pretty much how it would look, which is a really pretty rainbow. But I'm gonna pop a little bit of fairy dust on. Why not? I like sparkle. Get your tray underneath so that you're not wasting any. Sprinkle down the centre. And then you can just use your finger to gently move that glitter around. So that it's got a good full coverage. And then back into the lamp for a full cure before we top out. So dust off that excess glitter. Oh my god, I'm in love. It's so pretty. And then get your top coat on. Remember a nice good layer of top coat. Don't be too stingy with that product when you're doing top coat. If you used a chunkier glitter, you could always do a layer of base or even Felicity Flex so that you definitely get that nice smooth finish at the end but fairy dust is so fine you really don't need to do any extra thickness on there again don't forget you can turn them upside down 5-10 seconds just upside down we'll make sure that that light line is lovely and smooth full cure in your lamp 
and then you're done. So that's all our ombre nails finished. There's even more ways to do ombres, but that is just a few little simple ones for you to get started with. Hope you've enjoyed it guys. See you soon.